Hello guys, this is Cat's Diary channel, welcome back! We can easily say that Birman cats are really something special, you know, with that beautiful blue eyes and white gloves, they really make a good impression. But if you take a little closer look, they are not that different from any other cats. So in this video, I want to talk to you about 10 facts about Birmans. Birman cats were very popular among priests, so there is not an a coincidence, there is one absolutely romantic legend about a monk and his cat in the temple. It says about how the cat Shin got his white gloves, but that's only a legend. According to record, in about 20th century, Birmans came to Europe. During Second World War, they were almost extincted, and by the end of it, I guess there were only two of them left. And then the French stood up. They made a foundation and by the early 50s, first pure Birmans were born in European soil. Blue eyes are something Birmans are famous about, but when there's not enough light, the pupils got narrow and they become red. Mostly blue eyes are because of the lack of the pigment, and with some breeds like Birmans and Himalayan, there is a genetic disorder. There is also one thing I find it very interesting about the blue eyes. All the cats having blue eyes fall asleep very easily. So if you, for example, have to take them to the surgery, they will only need a half of anesthetics and the surgery will be done. Which is basically fantastic news because after they wake up, they're more, they are almost immediately prepared to go with their ways. Birman cat have long hairy coat and one coat is different from another. Also on touch, some are more silky and another one are more fluffy. Now, for example, Nika at her nine month old, she has very fluffy, very soft hair, but Jinx on the other hand, it's more silky. Birman kittens are born totally white and then a few weeks after, they develop a pattern and a color of their coat. There is recommendation to nurture your Birman cat twice a week, but from my experience, um, usually especially young cats don't need any help with it because they do everything by themselves. Except maybe in the autumn or spring, in that time when they change the hair, maybe it's good if you help her out a bit. But later on, when a cat grows old, she may be having difficulties to reach some areas because they're simply not that flexible anymore. In this case, I suggest you take the comb in your hand and help her out a bit. Unless, of course, your cat enjoy nurturing, then, of course, go for it. There is one more thing about the hairy coat. With Birmans, it grows on the lower side of their paw which is very typical for cats coming from warm areas. It kind of protects them when they walk on a hot ground. On the other hand, they are not very well protected from cold because they don't have the undercoat. So if you're living in a cold area, be careful about that. I remember Ori, for example. Outside there was 30 degrees and she was still sleeping under her blanket. Number four. As I told you before, Birman cats are born totally white. They develop a color and a pattern a few weeks later. Now more about this I told you in another video, so click the link below and learn more about their colors and the patterns. Number five, Birman cat's body is a bit stronger with shorter legs and they are a bit wider than the regular cats while head and nose are pretty much the same as with the other one. Number six, the character. Cats with longer hair are more known as less vivid and less tempered, let's say from the regular cats. But each one is an individual, just like human. I remember my Nea, for example. She was exactly like Garfield and both Nikas needed their daily dose of cuddling. And Jinx, well, Jinx is like, I don't know, remember the A-Team series from the 80s? Well, he was like a mixture of Murdoch and Face. That's all, folks. There is very typical for a cat to develop their daily routine and they demand 100% of cooperation from their owner. 
I remember Ori. She was used to having her tuna can every afternoon around 6 o'clock. And then all of a sudden, she started to bugging me one hour earlier. A few days later, I figure out we changed the clock. But we changed the clock. For her, it was the same time. Well, since the owners are pretty much in love with their cats, they sometimes take advantage of that and can be a bit of snobby. But that's pretty much the owner's problem. Cats only take what you give them. So bottom line, the character of Birmans is they're very kind, they like to play, they don't bite unless you cross their line. In this case, they will show you very clearly. But you do have to be a bit careful if you have kids, especially if you have babies. Don't let them sleep together because cat may lay on them and you might risk a suffocation. Number 7. Health. If you have a cat with a high quality family tree, you can be pretty sure you got yourself a good genes and of course less problem for any genetic disorders, which happens very often if parents repeat too much in the past. If you buy a cat from a registered cattery, usually the owners, before they find the new owners, they test the cats for some certain disease. Birmans are prone to a certain disease, and I hope I'm gonna pronounce this right, it's a hypertronic cardiomyopathy. If I translate this for you, it could lead to a heart failure. Now, for example, my Ori had problems with her teeth. She lost the first one at the age of four and another two in the next eight years. On the other hand, Nika and Neya, which are her kittens, had absolutely no problems with their teeth. I don't know why is that so, but the difference was in food. They only eat dry food which doesn't stick to the teeth, so this might be the cause, but I'm only speculating. Number 8. Lifetime. If you keep your cat inside of the apartment, you automatically protect them from being hit by a car or pick up any of the number of the diseases they are outside. Now, if you Google about the lifetime of these cats, you will find out that they live for about 12 to 15 years. When I was talking to my vet, he said that 16 years is basically a very good lifetime for a cat. Usually, it's probably a little less. Now, my Ori was 18 years and a half and she was second the oldest at the vet's. When I was buying those two at the cattery, they had a male cat. He was 16 years and he looks just fine to me. Healthy, everything is okay. So, if you buy a cat from registered cattery, expect he will be living about 16 years, take good care of him and you will have a long and happy life. Number 9. Purring. There's a whole bunch of theories why cats do this and how. Primarily, it was supposed to be a communication between mother cat and her baby kittens and somehow she's telling them that they are safe and everything is alright. Also, cats are purring if they want to calm themselves down. Now, through the years, I learned from my Birman cats that female are purring a lot more softly and a lot more quietly comparing them to a regular cat. Except for Jinx, he is purring so loud that you can practically hear him in another room. Number 10. Naming. Now, as I told you before, the French are the one who set up the foundation for Birman breed in Europe. They also set up convention which says that all kittens born in the same year starts the name with the same letter. But that's basically just a general, it doesn't go like that with all the countries. Now Nika was born as Nina, but she got her second name after the first Nika, as you saw her on the photo, and Jinx was originally born as Nils, but from the film Meet the Parents, we then call him Jinx. Oh, taught him that in one week. <laughs> this is Pam's cat, Jinxie. Jinxie, say hello to Greg. Hi, Jinx. Wave to Greg. Hello, Jinx. Had a boy. <laughs> that took me another week. Number 11. Bonus. Price of Birman cats is from 500 to 800 euros. All depends on where you buy them and what exactly do you want. If it has white gloves, the price again goes higher. The price only applies if 
you're gonna sterilize or castrate the kitten. If you wanna have baby kittens, then it might happen they won't even wanna sell them to you. So you have to decide what you want. Now, thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoy it. If you like it, subscribe. We'll be back soon. Bye-bye.